Disclaimer. This review features a collectible item and it's for adult collectors ages 13 and up only. It is not intended for children. So if you are age 13 or below, please stop watching this video now. Thank you. Lydia here and welcome back to a new door review on my channel. So today as you can see I am here with one of the most recent or newer releases because it's not like the the newest but it's, it's quite a new release of the LOL Surprise OMG dolls. This is Melrose as you can see the name on the box as well and um, she is part of the kind of like the mainline slash the BFF series and ever since I uh, saw pictures of her online like promo pictures and before that like even leaked um, pictures I just fell in love with her like immediately because she has a punk rock style and you know that if you know me and we talked a little bit you know very well that that is my all-time favorite fashion style that's my style as well and you know I just when I saw her I knew immediately that I just have to get her like I just need her in my collection and in my life because I just really love her and I also own like the the um, the two pack from the OMG remix series with punk girl and the uh, rocker boy and that was actually my first ever OMG uh, dolls that I got and I have a review of them up on my channel as well so yeah, I have, uh, and I'm trying to get any, like, punk rock style dolls from this series, which is not a lot of them, but, you know, um, it's still something that we are getting a few at least. And uh, yeah, so Melrose, and by the way, I was lucky enough to have a coupon. Um, I think it was like a 10 or 20% off coupon, and I used it on her, and I got her on sto in store, so... Uh, she uh, basically I bought her like she was on sale or something. So um, yeah, I'm just really glad to have her in my collection. I was I kept looking on the in the store to make sure that she has like at least uh, if not perfect but at least decent face up because you know with these newer OMG releases we can already see the face of the doll in the box which is great in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so before I blabber on too much, let's take a closer look at the box and after that I will unbox the doll and uh, we'll see how cool she is and we still need to put a lot of her accessories on her because those are packed separately in the box. So let's get started. So here she is inside the box and as you can see she is really, really pretty. I really love her makeup as well but we will take a closer look at that when I unbox her. The other thing I am not a huge fan of is her hair and I don't have a problem that she's a blonde but it's more like her hairstyle. I would have preferred like a cool like uh, punk rocker style hair or like a mohawk or something but uh, you know that's, that's that but otherwise I really, really love her. Uh, over here it says 20 surprises, unbox fashions, play and style. Now these newer OMG boxes are no longer in the like playset style, so when you open it up it does not look like a room for the character, which is, uh, you know, kind of a bummer, but um, I can live with that. At least we can see the face of the doll, so it's not like a blind uh, box when you get the doll and, you know, get disappointed if it, if it has some flaws or paint errors. Now we're here, it says a LOL Surprise OMG Outrageous Millennium Girls. We have a huge artwork of her. It says Let's Rock Out. And it says her name, which is Melrose. By the way, it's such a um, beautiful name, in my opinion. And she has this checkered uh, design to her box. And in the background as well, as you can see, that blue checkered. Because she also has a checkered uh, material. Um for her pants, which is awesome. Here on the side we have her little sister and I do not I do not own her in my collection and I do not know her name. I'm sorry about that. I'm just not like a huge huge fan of the little tots. It says Hey Sis. 
and this is the back of the box again it says 20 surprises Lord Surprise OMG uh, OMG we sisters strut fear style and stand out from the crowd because we are here to surprise the world I think that's pretty much what it says on all of the OMG boxes and here it says so in different languages and um, yeah it's that's why I'm saying that uh, they, uh, she's part of the BFF series because this is her best friend and it says collect both and that's what usually what it says on the on the you know BFF series um, I really don't like it that it has the price or this uh, code um, sticker uh, like placed directly on her so that you can't see like the full artwork of her but you know so Marrows and her uh, best bestie is uh, Sketches now she is in the store and um, she's okay but she's not like my favorite doll so I don't think I will get her maybe if I find her like on a super duper um, big sale maybe then but it's pretty weird too because you know I'm, I'm, I'm a art person and I do also arts but something about her just didn't like really grab me like it did with Melrose so uh, but no offense uh, to any of those who like her it's just it's not my type of doll or my type of thing and here on the side it says Melrose again and uh, that's pretty much it about the box so now let me just grab her out and uh, see how cool she is so here is Melrose out of her box and wow she is amazing I really really love this doll uh, I wasn't disappointed uh, because you know from uh, what I saw um, pictures and you know what I saw of her when she was still inside the box I really loved her but now that I unbox her and seen her with all of her accessories and uh, you know what she comes with how she looks fully dressed and whatnot I think she is just amazing one of my uh, favorite OMG dolls for sure so um, yeah before I uh, show you her up close I wanted to show you what she comes with so um, I will uh, also show you guys the insert of the box because I think that is really cool but since this is a newer release of you know OMG dolls, um, they do not, they no longer come with the, um, you know the little head boxes and shoe boxes and whatnot. So that's kind of been uh, eliminated, elim eliminated. <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak uh, from the, um, their boxes. But uh, still, they do have some of their extra stuff. Uh, packed in these uh, little uh, bags and I think her jewelry yes her jewelry was um, packed in this cute um, wrapping paper and uh, I think her purse was in this one as you can see it says uh, rock on uh, lol omg and some uh, kind of looks like uh, some press release or something in the background and um, I have no idea what else was in this little um, bag already I kind of forgot but you know checkered fabric and uh, this is also I think this was um, for the the one that uh, the hanger was in and I think one of her closing pieces was was in this one because this is like a garment bag but yeah I just thought that I show you guys these because I do like to keep them even though I don't use them for anything I just always like to keep them because I think they are uh, really just cool uh, little packages and uh, she also comes with her little booklet or in this case it says a BFF journal some musical notes over there this is how it looks from back it says rock on and if we open it up here is a picture of her and it says that she is a Scorpio so that is her star sign or zodiac sign and it he here it says What's your star sign? Uh, don't be afraid to make a scene. You already have everyone's attention. And we have the constellation for the Scorpio and the dates for the star sign. So uh, really cool. They have I really like that they have kept this one at least from the from the older uh, releases. Now I was quite too surprised with this little piece because she does come with this. Um, it's kind of like a little poster. It's her, and in the background we have the Supersonics um, band. And honestly, uh, from the first time that I saw her, she seems to be like 
either a huge Supersonics fan or she is like a manager of the band. Because from the, I don't know, from the her look, the bun and the glasses and her whole look, she seems to be like a manager of the band, at least uh, in my head that's uh, the idea that they came up with. And it also says uh, Melrose uh, Ave, which is, means uh, Avenue. And it says how to be a music maven. So yeah, yeah I kind of do think that she's a manager. Uh, one, get a record collection that overflows. Two, mix a playlist, playlist that amps up amps you up and three bring your BFFs to all the shows and we have some uh, little records there and a uh, cassette player and uh, whatnot so yeah um, kind of like a little I don't know a little pamphlet a little uh, advertisement something like that um, for sure now her uh, I think her uh, little vest came on this hanger which is a uh, black or like dark gray and it kind of it's kind of see through it's the you know the original lol omg um hangers that we seen before with the other dolls as well she also came of course with a comb and uh, which in her case is a dark pink color which is kind of surprising but i do i get it because she also has like pink on her so um it was to be expected that it's not the same color as the stand or the hanger and um, before I show you her stand and her purse she also does come with a extra little t-shirt which is made out of like um, it's made to look like it's actually two pieces but it's soon into one as you can see so there is this um, interesting little white um, shirt part that does not have any sleeves and there is this huge cutout in the front and it's really cool because we do have the Supersonics printed on it and it says 2022 tour uh, so this is basically like a band fan t-shirt which is a manager could wear you know to advertise the the band and of course it says 2022 because uh, the doll actually came out in 2022 so um, yeah, but I think she is really cool and uh, I have not, not tried on this shirt on her yet But I do think it uh, would look really cool on her although I do prefer the one that she has on And of course last but not least let me just take her off This is her stand which is as you can see black and it kind of has some glitter in it as well it Says lol omg it's the basic um, good quality sturdy stands that we are used to and it also has the extra waist holder piece over here uh, if you uh, lose one of these you can exchange it so um yeah that's all her accessories now let's take a closer look at that box insert and then at her so the box insert this was uh, the part that we were able to see with the doll on it um, this side and this was the hidden part there's a lamp behind there and there is actually like um free space back there because that's where the, all of her stuff was packed but nothing interesting so that i'm not going to open this part of the box because there is nothing interesting over there but on this side we have even more uh posters and it again it says melrose avenue and um this is basically like a, a blue wall with some musical notes on it. There's the Supersonics. Here it says Battle of the Bands. And these kittens have claws. And all ages this Saturday uh, bring on Shine, if, if I'm reading that correctly. And $5 a ticket. So there is a feud, I guess, uh, between these two. Um, I know that this is an uh, old girl and um, I'm not sure what's her name. I do know how she looks, but I do not know her name. And we have some uh, extra stuff over here. It says music is life. And yeah, just uh, CDs, cassettes, headphone and also there's this, this really cute picture. I think that is her little sister, yes. And that is uh, uh, the little sister. Si nah, I can talk. That is the little sister of uh, Sketches. I think that was her name. 
um, which is Bell Rose's um, BFF, and she also comes in this line. Uh, if you saw my, uh, if you saw the the outside of the box, there was a picture of her as well. So yeah, that is uh, the box insert. Now on to uh, Melrose herself. She does come with a purse or a little bag, not sure what to call it. But it's really cool. So as you can see, it is like a uh, guitar, a electric guitar, but it's just like only the, the lower part of it. And the strings look like uh, that they are made out of chains and there is also this chain over here, which all of them aren't like real chains. They are just uh, molded and painted on, unfortunately. There's also a safety pin. And I really like these little studs uh, all around. Now here on the side we have a little tassel hanging, but this is also made out of um, plastic, so it's not like uh, a material. And the purse also has this, uh, the strap uh, is uh, made to look like a chain. But it is also unfortunately um, not a real chain, it's just plastic and there's also this safety pin over here. I really wish it would be just like, you know, a, a, a regular um, chain because it looks kind of um, weird in my opinion to have just, you know, um, make it look like a chain but not have actual chains. And over here in the back as you can see there are also like three safety pins painted on. And I was really surprised because this also does open up. Uh, but inside you do not have like free space, You instead you get some stickers uh, that are stuck inside and um, stuff that's in, I guess, uh, in her bag like perfumes and makeup brushes and whatnot and over there it says, um, shh, it's a surprise party so I'm guessing it's like an invitation of some sort and on this side we have her phone which is also has like a, uh, I don't know if you can see that, a broken <laughs> screen and she is listening to some uh, music and also like a little keychain more makeup brushes and uh, nail polish so yeah real fun um, purse real fun accessory and she also if you notice she also comes with a pair of uh, like um, sunglasses I guess I could say it but they are also like glasses let me just move you guys over here so this is how uh, she looks uh, with them. It uh, looks cool and funny at the same time in my opinion and you can kind of see her eyes through it uh, but it's not like the most super see-through um, material and as you can see the lens are pink and all around it it's silver color with some um, little studs and little details. As you can see over there on the side it does say something but I honestly cannot read it. I don't know what it says. No, I can't read it. Uh, maybe it says LOL. I could be wrong. Uh, and this is the side of the of the sunglasses. And a really cool thing that I really liked is that you can actually lift the lenses up. And as you can see, they move separately. And just like that, you have like a um, regular pair of glasses, I guess. And by the way, over there where the nose is... Um, there's also like a safety pin in the mold. So yeah, pretty cool sunglasses. I really uh, enjoy them. I have never seen such detailed one, uh, ones uh, till now on uh, Lola MG dolls. Now, starting off with a actual review uh, of the doll. Here is a close-up of her face. And by the way guys, sorry about the glare. But as you can see, she has those beautiful, big, shiny uh, LOL surprise eyes painted on. And her eye color is this um, dark, uh, kind of like navy blue, um, but it shows more blue on camera than it is in real life. In real life it seems to be more of a purple shade, but regardless it's really pretty. And uh, she does not have a lot of makeup, but on top of her eyelids she has this white, um, kind of swirly line going on to the side of her face, and it's the same on both sides actually and I do think it's really uh, interesting and I have never seen such makeup before but I really like it. Now uh, on this side of her face uh, her eyelashes seems to be like kind of like double I don't know uh, if that is a uh, I don't know if you can see that by the way and uh, do you see that they are um, so there, there are the regular eyelashes and there is this like really faint 
uh, eyelashes painted next to it and it's only on this side and not on this one so I am thinking that maybe it's a error on my doll or I don't know maybe that's how it was supposed to be um, let me know in the comments if you have this doll and it's is it on your doll as well that is, is like that or what is just my doll I have no idea and uh, as you can see she also has a cute little beauty mark over there and um, her lips are colored like dark dark gray uh, they do seem to uh, look like black but they are actually like dark gray and she has bright uh, I mean the light brown eyebrows as you can see now her hair she is a blonde but she has two um, shades of blonde in her hair one of them is darker and the other one is white almost uh, I mean uh, lighter blonde almost white and she has a uh, little bangs or fringe in the front as you can see and those that is actually like gelled um, the cut ha could have been a little bit more cleaner if you ask me but that's how my doll is there is this also this strand of hair just hanging down um, now this one was full of hairspray or hair gel but I actually just combed it out because I like it a little bit more natural and on top of her head um, she has this really really interesting uh, bun kind of like a braided bun going around and it's like really really hard to the touch so it has a um, full on hair gel in it but I do think it looks pretty cool honestly not a big fan of it I would have preferred if you know she had like a mohawk or something a little bit more uh, punk style um, hairdo but uh, it's pretty, still pretty cool and you know, if he, she is a manager, I do think it fits uh, her look better. And as you can see, it's really interesting. It is separated in uh, the two shades over here in the back. And she also has this shaved um, part in the back, which is flocked. And it's pink with a uh, kind of like a tiger, uh, tiger design over there. So yeah, her hair is uh, really uh, interesting. Now... Uh, moving on to her jewelry, uh, she has different earrings uh, in uh, her ears. This side there is this huge um, safety pin hanging from this uh, little um, spike thing <laughs> in her ear. And I am honestly not a big fan of it. I do think it's a little bit way too shiny. As you can see it's like super super shiny. And it's also like too large. So it's got to uh, show her... Uh, um, shoulder gets in the way of it. I am not a big fan of that, but I do like the earring that she has on this side is this spiky um, kind of like a letter C backwards um, Kind and I do think we did see this type of earring on some other OMG dolls So it's kind of like a repeat, but it honestly just fits her And uh, the other jewelry that she comes with is this uh, really again this from the same shiny material is this kind of like a choker necklace I guess and those are all little teeny tiny safety pins stuck together not sure how well that shows up on camera but it's a uh, cool idea I guess and it fits her now moving down to her outfit as you can see she is wearing this really cool uh, uh, denim vest that does not have, have her sleeves and it looks like that the sleeves were like just simply cut uh, as you can see i really love how they uh, also did some details with the uh, thread on it and also some awesome little details like this little plastic um, decoration i'm not sure what to call it as you can see and that's actually like inserted uh, on the jacket as you can see over here from the back so it just not it's not like just simply uh, glued on which is amazing in my opinion that they went through that detail also has some fake uh, buttons and really love that it has like real little chains hanging from it I think that is really cool and on both sides actually some more fake buttons over here and the same you know uh, shiny decoration and the back of the of the vest I'm going to try to show it to you guys it actually has this cut in the back and it has uh, like real chains again crisscross on the back I do think that is really awesome I really love this um, 
denim vest. I honestly would wear it if it was like in my size too because it is just really cool. Now underneath she has this um, kind of like a stretchy material but it has these little holes in it so it's like a um, I'm not going to say like it's it's a, a uh, fishnet fabric because that would be just way too uh, visible, but it's it's uh, somewhere over there, and um, as you can see, it is a black and a white stripe, and it is a long sleeve one, and where you could actually like stick your finger uh, in it, and it has this little holder part thing. I'm not sure how to explain this type of. Um, shirts and I do think they I'm pretty sure that these have like names as well I just don't know what their names are in any language I don't even know in my language what they are called but I do think they are really uh, cool and it says OMG with pink on it so this shirt comes with a pair of shorts as well you can kind of see it sticking out of her uh, of her uh, checkered pants now uh, I do not want to take her pants off now to be able to show this to you guys but uh, if you wanted to want to see it uh, I will insert a picture over here in the video and you will be able to see it so uh, she can actually have like this uh, without the pants and without the denim vest like this I don't know somehow it gives me like a gym look to her in my opinion I, I think that is a really fun little detail that they uh, added to her whole look and uh, before we move on to her pants let me just show you her beautiful long nails and they are printed this really light uh, blue as you can see on both sides it looks the same so really cool now moving on to her awesome pants which again I would so wear them if it was like in my size so they are checkered punker checkered pants, uh, but as you can see they are uh, two-toned, so one side is pink and the other one is light blue. And they have like a ton of little fake zipper uh, details on there, over there, over there on the side as well, and over here too. And it also has these little suspenders uh, hanging from it, and here on the back as well. As you can see, and the suspenders, I really like it because they are made out of like a really elastic uh, material. So you can actually put these on her if you wanted to and not just leave them hanging. I think that is a great um, idea. And also there is a, a little fake button and some fake chains over here on the side. Um, one of them is made to look like a zipper. There's also one of those huge safety pins. And it goes around now again I do think that they could have made this out of real chains like they did on the vest and that way it would have been just more natural looking and more cool looking in my opinion because again it's made out of that super shiny uh, um, plastic and it just looks off at least in my eyes so I am not a big fan of this uh, I would have preferred if they used real chains and um, yeah but the um, I mean I could they could have managed to use like a fake safety pin and put real chains on it I guess because I'm pretty sure they did not want to use like a real safety pin because that's um, a no for kids they could hurt themselves and last but not least of course she comes with a pair of awesome um, gray kind of silver colored uh, boots and this is how they look, they have zippers on the side and uh, of course more fake chains in the front and uh, really love the how it looks and the soles are black as you can see kind of blends in with the, the stand they have an opening in the back so that you can um, take off her boots if you wanted to she does not come with socks or anything of that sort so but I think the boots are really stylish as well. Really just fits her whole punk uh, punk rock look. And uh, yeah, so that is Melrose. And that's about it for this review of Melrose from the LOL OMG um, BFF series. Not sure which, um, I think it was the third series of this 
or maybe the fourth one, <laughs> I don't really keep track of it. But regardless, a really cool uh, punk rocker girl. And if you like my review, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below what do you think of her, her clothes, her little accessories. And uh, also what do you think, uh, is my theory correct and is she like a manager in this um, LOL OMG world or is she like a, a organizer of like, you know, concerts or, or something like that. Uh, but yeah, tell me down below in the comments what do you think of it and what's your idea of her. And also, if you like my review, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more uh, LOL OMG and twins and other kind of toy and door reviews, of course. I also have a Facebook page. The link will appear on the screen. You can go ahead and like it if you haven't done that yet. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!